Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I'm back, baby. Uh, this is, I've been I've got like two episodes that recorded ahead of time, so it's actually been a little bit since I recorded any Slice and Dice, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna play Dream today. I'm gonna go. I kind of just want to play it legit first, and then maybe we'll come back. Where am I? Here it is. You guys want to check? I kind of just want to go in and do a normal hard dream run. Although, uh, yeah, let's just do a normal hard dream run. I'm down with that. I think that for the side game modes, we'll just play legit for a while. First fight, single ghost. Hmm. I don't like tunnel vision. Yeah, I don't like write too blank. I don't really like odd single use. Stony Grasp is okay if I have to, but I think I'll just reroll. Yeah, Item Poison is much nicer. Sickly is also kind of whatever. I don't care about this curse that much, but I think Item Poison is pretty much free. Maybe a little harder on this game mode, though. Oh, sure. Hope you're having a good one out there. It, you know, it feels like it's been a while since I recorded, but for you, it's been all the same. It's strange because I haven't done uh, batch recordings in a long time. So... You know, it is what it is. Uh, the co-op episode went up with Cranberry. That was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, not much else. Not much to say. Can you redirect? You can. You can. Oh, it's incoming poison. I'm gonna say you can't redirect poison. Sure can. Just gotta do it like that. Redirect incoming poison. I wanted to do a slay play here, but it's not viable. I've seen some pretty crazy shit out of dream mode, by the way. People have posted a few screenshots in my Discord of, of it. Uh, it's crazy, some of the shit you can run into in this game mode. I saw someone had like a double basalt final boss. That one looked pretty funny. Oh, this is the stuff you go this way. Huh. This, this honestly just looks like a normal floor two fight. Six slimelets? Yeah, sure, dude. Whatever. I have not been clicking on Monk very much lately, and you know why? I think it's because the greys got a lot better. They feel a lot more useful now, so Monk is kind of like bottom of the barrel to me. I used to feel like he was pretty good, but I guess it's it's a lot to say that any of the greys are very good. He was fine, right? He was like... I guess actually what it is, is a lot of the joke grays got moved. That's what it seems like to me now that I'm thinking about it. Things like uh, twin and statue are gone. You don't run into those anymore. So suddenly it's a little bit easier to just go, hmm, maybe today I will not click on monk because I'm never gonna see statue priestess anymore. That's gone now. So that's, that's my thought. As a result, and I don't, I don't really think actively. Is this just Alpha? Fight, fight three. Hey, what are you doing here? That's weird. What a weirdo. I'll take Palace Song. Um, yeah, I don't really think super actively about things like this. Like, I'm not, I'm not actively thinking. Well, here's what Monk's good against. Here's what Monk, here's what Monk is bad against. It's more like I go off of intuition where I go, hmm, this doesn't seem very good here because it doesn't look like he's going to do anything for me. And so far I've been pretty right, I suppose. But I'm not actively thinking to myself, oh yeah, Monk is bad now because here's what I can see. I kind of just go by feeling things out in games like this. Maybe I should try to think more actively. Maybe I should have more active brain activity. Hmm. Nah. I'll take Juggler. Guardian, I have had a little bit of an improved opinion of because he pairs very well with Scrapper. Having two dice for seven damage is very nice, but I also think that Juggler is very strong. It's uh, not a hard argument to make, I don't think. Juggler is pushing some very high damage. And then she whiffs. She goes, uh, 1-1-X. One, one but you know what? Sometimes Juggler's pushing very high damage, I'll tell you that. I'll save Squire. He deserves it. Okay, Squire, I'm not sure I can help you anymore. Squire, the Matrix is sending its agents. You better look out, buddy. Oh my god. They're pulling up. 
Squire, get out of there. The bones. You know what I was thinking, actually? I was wondering if you can... You can. Oh, that's cool. I was thinking about that. Uh, are demons immune to bones splinter damage? The answer? Yeah, they sure are. Neat. It makes sense, right? But bones damage is weird because it does it breaks a lot of rules like it goes through or at least maybe i it used to i don't know if it still does it goes through null armor and it would not count i'm pretty sure as damage for hydras although that might be wrong replace damage ties with my top side oh that's cool i can't imagine it being all that good i'm gonna pick statue at but like, well, that's kind of cool. That is a neat setup. I was about to say, well, this would be a perfect fight for Medor to do the thing. Do the Medor thing. I'm rolling for the three here. Maybe I shouldn't, but... My opinion of Medor, by the way, I saw many people had a lot of hatred for this character. My opinion of this character is unchanged. I think Medor is still just fine. I had, I don't know if it happened to me on a run on camera or not, because I was playing so many for a little bit, but I had like a worst case effect happen for Juggler, or not, sorry, not Juggler, Meddler, where I summoned three bones and I had a character die turn one, and that seemed like the worst thing that could possibly happen to me, and I still live. So, my feeling is that the character is probably fine. I'm okay with taking Glacia. Just, it feels like we are much more inclined to push damage and glacier feels a little worse because we're not pushing as much damage as we could but it shifts party to party right glacier has some niceties to her no doubt like this chill is kind of nice although i should save it for a poison i suppose or now ah uh, juggler versus basilisk it's not supposed to be like this juggler i just want you to know that this isn't your fault this is not on you, buddy. This is the system trying to take you down. I have 10, 15. Oh, I should have bursted. I had lethal there. Oh, well. Can we roll to class of Glacia? Man, this is also just Bell, but one turn sooner. And he has a B instead of a Fanatic. The hell? I'm just. This is just a normal run. This isn't much of a dream at all. I'll do it. Caldera? Cool. Lichfinger, Diving Suit, um... Oh, Diving Suit Juggler's kind of cute. Sure. And later on it can be Diving Suit on our red for Caldera. But Diving Suit Juggler so you don't have any more pain is kind of neat. Just gotta remember that I'm playing Bottom Poison. I am very often inclined to forget it. Juggler Gladiator's a little bit of a mismatch, isn't it? Because I'm never gonna get... Uh, focus off on this boss, which I guess doesn't matter. Maybe I just don't care. Yeah, you can't redirect poison. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Nice job, juggler. You'll be fine. We just kill. All good. No big deal. Cleric vampire? You can go vampire here. I think that's fine. Vampire, pretty strong. Uh, something, though, that I would like to speak on, I guess, because, you know, it's it's very obvious what just happened, or it, it's obvious what you're going to think after what I just did, which is rerolling Glacia there. Many people like to say to me, certain things don't work because I play a very aggressive style, and, like, I mostly just don't agree. I don't think I play a specific way. I play the way that wins, mostly, is my feeling, and the way that wins happens to be... Uh, overlapping with killing enemies because in a in a very simple way we have initiative we go first killing the enemies means that they don't do damage to us it's very very straightforward hmm, fuse here no run some parties and some fights you cannot play in that way but for the most part you really just kind of send it and you'll be fine and like I guess, given the option between having a team that has, like, this perfect block setup where you block all the damage always, or a team that kills, like, three enemies turn one, it's just going to be better to kill the enemies because there are so many things that bypass defensive setups, right? 
you're not always going to hit cleanse or uh, things like that. You can't lose by misrolling your cleanse if you just have seven different character sides that kill enemies. That's my philosophy. Mana jelly? Probably not. Bone saw. Like, playing defensively is going to work out for you very often, but eventually what's going to happen to you is uh, you're going to low roll, right? It's part of the game. And if you low roll on offense, you're probably still doing some damage and potentially able to salvage your position. If you're low rolling on defense, uh, someone died. That's the basics of it, anyway. Are you exerting? You are exerting. I don't have a good block. I'll save the HP on Alloy. Although, it's unlikely that Alloy goes under any fire here. Whatever. I was also thinking I'd have to... I want to save HP on Juggler there, but Juggler actually can't kill herself anymore, which is nice. Is this lethal? Let me look. I think this might be lethal. Ah, one off. Close, though. There might be something you can do that uh, is lethal here, but most likely I'm just going to be pressing Infuse. Which is fine as well. Oh yeah, I pressed Scald immediately after saying that. As if I need to kill this slime lit off. Yeah, I need to spend the extra mana so that I can eliminate Mr. Slimelet. Careful. Uh, no, I want to keep diving suit. I'm alright. Bard Pilgrim. The big one, by the way, the big thing that people were saying this about was Pilgrim. People were saying I don't like Pilgrim because uh, I want to play aggressive. And the answer is, not really. I don't like Pilgrim because I don't think that... Uh, Hanging your hat on these two stun sides is all that good. But he's very good if you have someone who has pain. Because then suddenly these sides are active. Target, you, I just don't really like Death Defy that much. Uh, and Reuse, it's cool, but it's one side. Um, but mostly, I don't like Pilgrim because I think a lot of the time your good mid-game strategies are steel-based. Or not a lot of the time, but sometimes I like to keep as many lines open as possible, I suppose. And trying to play Scrapper with Pilgrim is very sad. Uh, that's the big one. Now, do I want Bard or Pilgrim? I want Bard to go with Juggler. It's, like, minor, right? But Pilgrim also doesn't want to play with someone like Gladiator because Self-Shield is already in the t on the team. It's it's very slight, but, like, you're not getting a whole lot of value out of Pilgrim plus Juggler, for example. There's really nothing there that you're getting. So, it's not something that I'm really wanting. And that's the sort of stuff that's worth considering. You dead? No, you're not dead. Am I Elsing? I guess here. Doesn't matter, you just bank mana versus the Hydra, and then hope it dies on the following turn. One, two, three, four, five? That's Ixel. Cracked Emerald. Gain the effects of all tier 12 items on other heroes. Hmm. Doomblade's super good. Uh, Add guilt and plus one pips to all sides. Or all damage sides, I mean. Guilt is if this kills someone, I die. It's extremely unlikely that your juggler is going to kill anything. Although it is a little out of your control, I suppose. We're just going to want to try to kill things from full health. Also, this is 11. I guess I'm not 100% on if this is good or not. Now that I'm looking at it. Because I don't have full control over if juggler is killing things, do I? Like, turn one, it's going to be good, but what about turn two and three? This would actually pair pretty well with Lead and Handle. Because then you have great control over it. And they are beating his ass. Three, two, one, four. You're alive, then. I want an X here, actually. Okay. Three, two... 
Yeah, it would have been. Oh, uh, no, I don't need an X there. Actually, I was thinking I wanted to cleanse the pain, but that's not real. Oh, yeah, you can go. I was about to say no, keep him, but then Juggler's gonna kill herself. You see, now this is a real boss fight. Gaitha, Boar, Basilisk, Gaitha. Now you're talking. Uh, Doctor's pretty good here. He holds the scalpel pretty well. Sorry, the bone saw pretty well. I don't care too much about that regen I'm leaving behind. And yeah, should be fine. Could give him. No, he has better. I was gonna say we could give him the diving helmet, but nah. Yeah, I think I understand how you want to go about this with. Uh... Yeah, so now is when you lock your Doom Blade. Because you just want to make sure that you don't have an option for Juggler to kill something. I got my six damage. Let's go cash it out. For some reason, I thought I locked an X. I did not. I'm rolling for an X here. Oh well. Worth a shot. Someone kills Gaitha. And then I think we kill the other Gaitha too. And now Juggler will never kill herself here. It's not super important that she lives, right? It's okay if she doom blades and dies. Because by the time she's going to kill herself off, she's going to have generated plenty of value. But uh, we just want to try not to early on in the fight, basically. Bit of a shame how much my Juggler is running into nonsense, though. And by nonsense, I mean Basilisk. But all good. Oh, lead and handle. What do you know? I was just talking about that. That's pretty cool. You can have it. You can get guilt on your self damage cantrip. That's pretty funny. Anyway, this juggler. So the lead and handle juggler combo is nice because now my juggler, we it's fixed on what she's gonna hit. Basically, you always know where this damage is gonna land. So I have a lot more rolls. One more roll. Can I go again? Okay. Still pretty good. Uh, we dropped this saber low. Sadly, my juggler is very likely to die here. Not much you can do. It's what? It's four hits death, two hits live. Good luck, juggler. Oh, never mind. They run. Even better. Wizard's pretty good. I like Keeper as well. I don't have anything for wizard, is the main issue. So I probably just end up on keeper. The thing I have for wizard is cantrip based gameplay, but I don't know. You could also, actually, I do have these for wizard. Doomblade, Leaden Handle when I transition off of Juggler. The big problem with this combo is that nobody wants this, especially this item. Nobody wants this in the end game. Let me go wizard here. Let me see how this feels. Because I think this is fine. Three damage, mana gain. It's very good at fighting most things, and the heavy is cool too. So I think that's gonna make sense. Really? He's the highest? So I'm gonna lock this one, because there's a chance Juggler goes like 4-4-4 four, four, four here, and then I clean up off of the one. Three. Four. Could try juggling. Still pretty good. I cleared two of them off of it. Actually, I clear three of them off of it. Too easy. I, I mean, honestly, Doctor, very reasonable. You should talk shit. Talk, talk your shit for that one. However, of note that it doesn't let me keep my juggler. This is probably the better play because then juggler has what? It's three. You have. Four sides you can hit that keep you alive. I'm willing to take the shot here. Because I'll win on this turn always. Oh! Yeah, that's one of the sides. Sorry, I got it mixed up. Solid. Oh, Bell's back. Duck Botany. Group growth. Keyword growth activates for all allies on this side. Probably isn't very good. Just go Duck Wizard, and then he's as good as Juggler. This could end up being a keep Juggler angle, too, with the damage output here. It's very high. Like, Juggler shreds these bosses. 
One character just did 13 to Bell. That shit's not right. And yet, I'm gonna kill him so I don't have to deal with the end. I just, it doesn't feel right. Ooh. Okay, you can lock. Oh, this is lethal. Nice. Zombie militia, troll militia, zombie. Sure. I don't mind. Good with Valkyrie here. A res to pull juggler back if she dies. Good with me. Uh, do you get the echo? Nah, I don't think so. Honestly, Gladiator having the res is kind of nice, too. Uh, Juggler is going to swing into a zombie and die. That's the one here. I think it's kind of hard to stop that. Maybe, oh, I get a 4 damage mana gain here. There you go. And then it goes... 4, Inspire, 4. Can't do anything to these militia. I'll kill the troll. That's fine. One him and the militia juggler juggles on. Honestly, I expected at least one incident here for juggler. So far, so good, though. I was pretty sure we were going to see at least one death out of her. Serration Iron Crown. Valkyrie does not really want Iron Crown. This fight looks horrifying, by the way. I remember my last run of Dream going something like this, where I just cruised, and I was like, man, this shit's free as fuck, and then I walked into some fight that obliterated me at the end. So, I don't think it's over yet. Serration Doctor looks pretty solid. Um, yeah, probably. Could also do this, and then, yeah, this isn't bad. It's actually, it's not good, because Juggler's going to be spreading damage. Although, I guess that's just more... More value. Hmm. I don't have any AoE to capitalize on it, though. I have this. I think I'll let it go for now. Uh, it's whatever. Juggler? There you go. I am gonna lock a Deathify here. Oh my god, what a turn. I think this might be the part where I get obliterated. Carriers are going to all roll AoE poison and die. That's the plan. Oh, one AoE poison. Juggler, no. Juggler, don't do it. Actually, maybe Juggler do it and then revive? Hmm, now I'm going to roll it. Okay. I should always survive this fight now. That's my next assertion. It's now a question of if I can save much of my team. Look at how crazy- this guy is killing everyone. He is like actually wiping the board with this one roll. Who you want to save here? Uh, Gladiator, probably? Nah, he has self-shield. He'll be fine. I think it's Juggler. 
Juggler kills herself on the self damage a lot. I wonder if you can get more out of this if you just go like burst. Hey, what are you dying to? That's these guys. Oh, it's like burst, burst. Oh, he still dies. Okay. Could be death defy, liquor, liquor. You're dying to poison anyway. I don't... hang on. Oh! Because he's dead before he swings. I get it. I get it, I get it. It's like, man, this doesn't look right. Let me start at zero here. Take me all the way back. Okay. Let's look at this closely. I can pick and kill one carrier if I want. Like I could just kill this guy. Can't stop me. They can't even arrest me. I can kill this one. Heal here. Oh, this is much worse. Yeah, okay. I'm already sure this is much worse. I'm like... Perhaps I'm getting a little impatient. I'm kind of over this. That's fine. Hey, Bell's back. Have you guys seen, uh... You guys seen my favorite boss, the Bell? Because here he is again. Curator looks okay here. I'm down to play Curator over Assassin. Keep the juggler a little longer. I can't wait to fight Bell again. Okay. Uh, I'm good with a death to fight here. I have a feeling I'm gonna need it. This is gonna be a pretty disgusting turn. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a little... A little much. Uh, I mean, I guess I just kill a bell. And then I go, hmm, that, with quartz? That is not what I thought. Also, you see the gap? You see that gap? You know what's spawning in here. There's another fucking bell up there. You know, I bet there's two, there's probably a bell and an alpha. It's probably, no, this was a bell. Alpha, bell, bell, quartz. Bell Alpha? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I'm gonna be shocked whatever comes out from up there. If I ever even see it. Four, four. Uh, do I have a good two here? Four, two, burst, two. What are you on? You're on nine, four, four. You're on seven. Hmm. That's better. Okay, okay. Inspire. We can actually... It? It's like four... Six... Inspire... Six? Oh my god, it's another bell. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is bell alpha up there, huh? Oh, he just comes in dinging. He just comes in, he goes dong. He sure does. It's not that I don't trust you, juggler. It's just that I don't trust you. That's why I'm uh, hitting with the liquor there to keep you alive. Mostly because I think you're going to kill yourself. And you know what? I would have been wrong. Sorry I didn't trust. Sadly, I'm not sure Curator's coming back from the war. Hmm. Very well. The play here is to just make sure that I don't lose my juggler. So I just want to leave the bell on five. There's no reason to uh, rush. 
Get up, curator. Gaitha, grave, brave, brave, fanatic, Gaitha. I, this fight, this run is just fighting Bell and Gaitha over and over again. That's all I'm doing here. You heard the news? You want to fight Bell Gaitha again? You know what? Fuck it, dude. Sure, I'll fight Bell Gaitha again. This is seven. This is four. Six is Latin handle. And it's six or eight, right? Yeah, this is pretty good. Can't put vulnerable on my shield, which isn't very good. But uh, probably you just go like serration here. And uh, duck on this is pretty lame though. Guess you could do this and maybe just take serration off. I don't know. Is it really all that good? I mean, it's pretty good. It's not like I need serration in this fight anyway. Can't wait for my final boss here. Gaitha, Gaitha, Bell, Bell, Gaitha, Gaitha. Hoping that's the one. I love to fight that. You give me four. Here's one of my copies. Take the charge mana. It's at least four damage. Oh, okay, this is gonna be good. So it goes four. Oh, you're heavy, right? Four. Inspire. Kill. Hmm. Juggler is again at risk of death. Four damage into bones and you will be gone. Ah, dude, this juggler is crazy. She doesn't miss. I, I saw the size, I was like, ah oh, shit, here it comes. Now even more absurd, it's Troll King. As if I haven't fought enough of this guy. Do you think Troll King is scary? I think this is going to be a joke. I'm going to skip this and keep this juggler. Um, yeah, basically, I've thought about it a little more. I'm probably never going to care about this vulnerable. So, whatever. Basically, I don't think I'm going to bother worrying about it. Juggler? Good, good. Do I settle on mana gain? I think you settle. Good god, juggler. What the fuck was that? Can't target that. Uh, this troll king is dead. This is the classic troll king problem. Man, everything's so scary. Oh, oops, I killed him. Man. It's so terrifying. Troll King, double Troll King is so much damage. Oh no, and then he just fucking dies. I don't know, buddy. Maybe in a hundred years. Yeah? Maybe in a hundred years you'll beat me. Doubtful, though. This one was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the juggler setup was good. I have to say, the Latin Handle, Doomblade Juggler, it seems like a nice little combo to keep in mind. Um, I didn't even have to pivot it off into Wizard, although I could have, but I got Duck for Wizard, so, you know, very fair. Again, Item Poison, still on my list of, like, pick this curse setup as well. I should start compiling some information now that I am getting a little bit better at the game get you guys some guide content maybe that's for later though for now thanks for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave me a like subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one have a good one